Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at how to graph a system of two linear inequalities, basic. Um, basic in here, by the way, just means they're already in slope-intercept form. Um, so because of that, they're a little bit easier to graph. So uh, this is a system, so just like when we graph systems of equations, we're going to take both of those linear inequalities and put them on the graph at the same time. So I'm going to come do this one first here on the top. So we're going to go down to negative 3. We have a slope of negative 5, so I'm going to go down 5 more. 5, and then write 1. Alternately, if you run out of room, you, remember you can always go up and left 1, and that would be 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, left 1, and you'll get your line that way. So now, um, solid or dashed, this one is just a strictly less than, so that is a dashed line. Okay. And I'm going to hold off on shading because I want to shade um, one thing at the very end. Um, so actually, I'll take that back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use pencil here because I'm going to have to take part of this back off. So looking at this one, um, if I use my test point of 0, 0, is 0 less than negative 3? No, it is not, which means I'm going to shade this part of my line, the, the left part, because 0, 0 did not work, which means that's the wrong side. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I'm going to start at 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'd normally go up 2 and then right 1. I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to go the opposite and go down to left 1. This one is a solid line. Notice there is a or equal to there. And then where is this one going to shade? So this one, if I try my test point at 0, 0 again, I get 0 is greater than or equal to 7. That is false as well, which means I'm shading above this line. So here I shaded down, here I shaded up, and my goal is to only have this shaded region that is shaded for both lines. So this one is not true. And then this one's only shaded from this line, so I lose that part as well. So my final shaded region is, because if you notice here, we kind of have an upper, lower, right, and left region. It's just this left region where I shaded both lines. So that's the only shaded region you leave when you're doing a system of inequality. 